Hi guys, so welcome to another tutorial on IT dot tutorials. I am Yosef Botnar. I'm continuing the series of tutorials regarding to this project, school registration system. This project is done using Visual C Sharp and uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2019. This uh, tutorial has the goal uh, to design the register user uh, form. Actually, uh, this uh, app will be administered uh, by a administrator so uh, he uh, will have the access of this button i mean when uh, he will uh, give a click on this uh, button admin the register user form will be uh, released and uh, he will give the uh, rights uh, i mean uh, he will fill in the register form and uh, will give the rights uh, the user to the user to uh, use uh, this uh, application okay so um, i uh, resume the uh, goal of this tutorial is to uh, design uh, the register uh, user uh, form so uh, let's uh, start go on the solution explorer select the project right click uh, with the mouse and select add you can select new item if you want uh, but i go uh, straight to the form if i select here this yeah, click on it and uh, here I'm going to give a name for this form uh, which uh, must be suggestive like uh, register user yeah here you go and uh, click on uh, add uh, a button so here is uh, our form uh, register user so I'm gonna go inside the code and I'm gonna to remove this form and I'm gonna to use material skin I used a lot uh, throughout this uh, project material skin. Yeah, so if you don't know anything about this, uh, you have uh, to watch my previous tutorials uh, to um, be aware uh, what uh, this uh, material skin uh, is actually. All right, and now I go back on uh, the form, and uh, as you can see now, my form was changed because uh, I uh, am using uh, material skin. Yeah, so. I'm going to make a lot of settings uh, here on this uh, form. I'm going to place uh, controls. So I'm going to design this form, which is the goal of this tutorial. Uh, I have done before uh, these uh, things uh, throughout uh, this project and uh, throughout uh, my Visual C Sharp uh, tutorials. So uh, please uh, watch me, what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, when I will be finished uh, with uh, this uh, designing of this form, uh, I will give you the needed uh, explanation. All right, so let's start.
Okay, here you go. Uh, I finished uh, to design this uh, form, uh, namely register uh, user. So what I have done uh, here, actually, I uh, brought uh, on this uh, form, actually, this, uh, these uh, containers, uh, first the panel, which is this, uh, the first container, which uh, contain all of the controls. And after I uh, brought uh, these two uh, group uh, boxes, the left uh, one uh, here, I uh, grouped uh, uh, these uh, text uh, boxes uh, uh, which I'm going to use for uh, uh, username, uh, password, confirm password and position and uh, as you have seen I uh, gave a name for each of them for the first one for example txt username, txt password and uh, so on as uh, you have seen uh, previous and uh, here on the right uh, side, uh, inside this uh, group uh, box, uh, uh, just I noticed uh, I, uh, I have forgotten to change the name of uh, this uh, group boxes here, the text actually. So let's uh, change the text. I'm going to write registered users. Yeah. All right. And uh, actually here, uh, will appear the name of a registered user and the password, the confirmed password and the position here in this data grid view. So that means I brought here inside this group box this data grid view. And down here I designed these four buttons for register, update, reset and delete. All of these buttons has a name for example, for the first one, for the register, I use this uh, name, btn register user, for the next one, uh, btn update user, and uh, so on. Uh, actually, behind these uh, buttons, I'm going to uh, write the code uh, which uh, will uh, register the user in uh, the database, actually in the table of uh, SQL Server. Uh, uh, this one will update uh, the records regard to uh, registered users, reset and uh, delete uh, users uh, also in uh, the table uh, of uh, which is uh, contained in a SQL Server. Yeah. All right. So and here inside uh, behind this button admin, actually, I uh, wrote these uh, two code lines which uh, will uh, make the register user form to be released. Actually, I have done this just to release the register user because here uh, I'm going to write more code uh, because uh, when someone will click on this button, first should be released the uh, login form. So the admin uh, or uh, who wants to use the admin must to have uh, must uh, to be able to log in yeah because here just the administrator has the right to give uh, a, a password a username for other users to use this uh, app okay so let's release this application and click on admin and here you go here is uh, the form uh, designed throughout uh, this uh, tutorial so thank you for watching this video tutorial and see you next time. Bye bye.